Good evening, everybody. Uh, for some of you, it's the second time speaking with you all tonight. Welcome to Wizards of Outlook. We got Cardo Dudley Jr., Raymond Lyons, Wilson Tarpe Jr., and uh, look, man, the Wizards fell to the Rockets, 107-88. We all know what today was. This is the first two uh, two matchups this year. The next one, I believe, is February 15th. Um, someone could double-check that for me. I could be wrong. Uh, three players scored in double figures for Washington. That was Brad with 33, Westbrook had 19, and I'll get the other person just a bit. Five players scored double figures for Houston, which was Wall, Oladipo, Eric Gordon, Marcus Cousins, David Nawaba. Um, I'm going to let you guys start, Ray. You can get started, and then Cardell share your thoughts. <laughs> you, would, you would make me go first. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I mean, it's – this this was a bad game, man. It's not. It's really not too much to say. Um, it seemed disjointed from the beginning. A lot of raggedy, sloppy play. A lot of turnovers. Um, you know, all that piled on top of everything else that's going on with them. You know, we talked earlier about um, you know, all the postponements and and all and all that stuff. Uh, is it's just a dangerous cocktail they got going on right now, and it's it's um. Is getting out of hand rather quickly. Um, yeah, and the and the bad part about it is it's starting to manifest itself physically, you know, in body language and um and it's spilling over to the court. Uh, it's it's hard to maintain energy and and play hard when you know seemingly nothing is going right. Uh, on top of you being out of shape for being off for two weeks, so I. I don't know, man. The, and it's not like the Rockets were playing lights out. You know, they they were matching the Wizards' uh, futility for a good a good stretch of the game, and you know, Washington just couldn't they couldn't take advantage. Um, and then and eventually, um, Houston got themselves together and was able to stretch that lead out. But uh, but yeah, man, this 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 was a little hard to watch. Um, you know, we saw Bradley Bill on the bench just kind of going through it. Um, you know, we'll be interesting to know what's, what's going through his mind at this at this point in time. Uh, you know, Russell, he's I know he's dealing with the um with the quad injury, you know, on top of uh on top of the layoff from uh from all the COVID uh protocols. So he's kinda out of sorts right now. But um yeah, it's not not too many bright spots here. Um yeah, it's um, yeah, I'm not gonna continue to <laughs> to prolong this. It's just a bad loss for him tonight. A really bad one. All right, Cardo. Oh, a few things. Uh, the thing I felt like uh, did a minute in the second half. The Wizards was turnovers, and obviously the the main thing that has been plaguing them all season is their defense. You know what I mean? Um, you know, like Raymond said, a couple of things went wrong. A few bad turnovers, and dudes started hanging their head and. The ugly defensive Wizards showed up again, and the Rockets took full advantage. They ain't care. And, um, they went on a scoring spree in the fourth and just blew the game open, and that was it. You know, obviously, the big thing about it is John Wall's first game again. We knew he was going to be fired up. Uh, he, he looked like John Wall. Even though he, he's not playing a similar role he did in D.C. where the ball was always in his hands, he got other guys that can play making and stuff like that. It's a different type of system, but he's John Wall. Um, he, he's – you know, respect to him. He battled back from some gruesome injuries and still fast, still explosive, still can defend. Looks in incredible shape. Um, shot the ball well. I think he got a little bit crazy, uh, you know, gung-ho, you know, with the energy, started hosting up some bad shots for him. But when he played within himself, he was pretty efficient. Um, the turnovers, man. And what's bad is – your two best players can't be that sloppy. You know, Russell Westbrook had six and Brad Bill had five. That's 11 of their 22 turnovers. Um, Russell, Russell's just been bad all year with decision-making. Let's call it what it is, man. He's averaging five turnovers a game. Like, that turnovers kill, man. It kills momentum. Um, it helps the other team get jump-started. It's just bad, man. And it's not like – you know, throughout his career, he's 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 had these moments, but right now he's averaging the most turnovers per game he has in his entire career, uh, five point one. I think the most he averaged was five point four uh, for his career is four point one. That's that's the criticism we're playing with Russ. It's like as much as he gives you, 
it kind of he kind of deflates you as well with those turnovers, man. It's just you can't give NBA players that many opportunities to get back, man, because that's those are easy points minimum. If they score, that's ten points. You giving them just handing it to them. It's it's hard to recover from that, man. Uh, I, I felt like they didn't do a good job of containing Eric Gordon when he came off the bench. Uh, he was the one, and when Wall kind of got going in the first, and then he went to the bench because I think he's on minutes restriction, you know, for the first part of the season. I mean, Eric Gordon went to work, man. Look, I mean, twenty points, and he didn't even shoot the three right. He um good. He two for seven. So he looking like Eric Gordon, young Eric Gordon, just going to work on guys. And I'm um, listening to Scott Brooks presser. He went, he went in full detail. He said he felt like the Rockets found matchups that they liked. Uh, we didn't get stops. They started picking on some guys. Uh, one I know for sure is Jerome Robinson. They was they was ice on him all day. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, um, it, it, you know it, it was just bad all around. Houston finished the game on a 24 to nine run. That basically means that the the Wizards gave put put in a white wave the white flag. We, we know what that's about. And three point shooting from the Wizards, you know, five for 26, 19 percent. It's hard to win games if you're not shooting the three, man. You know, and I'm not even one of those people where anecdotally you got to put up a lot of threes. Five or 26, that just ain't going to help. Because, like Scott Brooks said, all they got to do is just crowd the paint and it's harder to score. And then that's what made things so tough for Bill. You know, Bill was kind of the long range where he's like the main guy that can create something and get some points. Everybody else struggled. Uh, Isaac Bonga. Trying to be nice, man. I just, uh, <laughs> I'm not. I know. I know. Look, man. I'm trying to be nice, man. I don't want this. I don't want to get his man, man. I'm trying to hold on, dog. But you, you can't be a starter and play 26 minutes and go donut, dog. Over three, four rebounds, four fouls. Uh, he gave him nothing. You know what I mean? Just it's just plain to simple. We gave him nothing. He didn't help. And uh, one other bright spot for Houston, DeMarcus Cousins, I feel like he owned the paint, double-double. Mm-hmm. Especially defensively, he was, he, he's never been the most athletic, explosive guy, but he was cerebral tonight, man. He 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 was in the pass lanes. He had about four steals, 11 rebounds, which is a part of defense for those that may not know. That's what ends defense. Um, so um, all around, man, even Victor Oladipo, he ain't had the best shooting um, you know, to start the game, but he damn sure closed. In the fourth quarter, he had something he went to work mid range, hit a couple threes. So um that's why it's optimism in Houston, because they got a lot of guys where when they get their legs on them, get healthy, they they got some dudes that could do some damage. So um it is what it is, man. You know, the Wizards, we know they're still trying to get back, get their legs back. We know they're still trying to get their guys back, their full roster back. But they better hurry up, man, because um it looks like they're about to be lottery man. You know what I'm saying? So once again, you gotta give props to John Wall. Like I, I'm, I'm on record, I don't care. I don't like how he was uh, kicked out of town, so to speak. If you want to trade him, trade him with respect. He put a lot on the line for this franchise, and so that's why you saw he was a little bit more amped tonight. You know what I'm saying? He know what it is and uh, whatever. And we all know it wasn't the basketball people that made that decision. I'm gonna leave it at that. Go ahead, Wilson. Yeah, I mean, there's really not too much to add um, from you guys. It's one of those things where decisions catch up to you. Um, and for everyone's sake in Washington, you better hope that everything that's going on with Russ right now um, is truly just health-wise. Because if it's not, and it's just, you know, we all, you know, that it's, it's a corny phrase, but it's true. Father Time's undefeated. Um, this somebody's played a lot of minutes for their career. The way that they play, a lot of pounding physically. Um, again, Washington looking bad at this trade, and the reason I bring it up because you made the trade, so this this is going to be something that's going to be looked at, look like. But uh, this will be something that's going to be referenced a lot because you're in a situation where who's a couple years older than the person you traded, regardless of coming off injuries. But it's not as if Russ was playing a 482 the year before, and this and again, this is what I am saying has nothing to do with Russell Westbrook. He can't trade himself. That's nothing to do with Russ. But he's done in his career. He's he's been consistently him. No issues with Russ. But for Washington, like Carl was saying, if you're gonna make that move, this is this is the part of the business too. You won't make that move in the round. This this is why most of the time in sports, whenever you trade a player that's worth their salt, you want them to go away. So if you do see him, you see him twice. You see him once. Rarely do you trade somebody that's in the division. You trade people you have, you're never 
you don't fear at all in the division because you don't care if you see it four or five times. It's irrelevant. But this is one of those things, you know, these are marked. This position we talk about all the time. It's tough on a nightly basis for guard, young guards coming into the league. This is one of the reasons why. These type of guys, oh, at their age, right, at the age that they're in, even coming off of injuries, John's not fun to deal with. For young guards, full of energy, that's not fun. We all know, we all feel De'Aaron Fox is one of the fastest guards in this league. De'Aaron Fox was chasing John, and this is coming off of the Achilles. So the decisions were made, and it's going to be referenced. I think I said like maybe six shows again, talk about at some point when we got to the first time they were going to play. I think I referenced the Black Cloud. It's officially mm-hmm. here. And, this, yep. and again, this is me saying it has nothing to do with Russ. I, don't, I might be wrong on how many shows ago it was, but we're here. Yep. We are legitimately here. We're not going back. This is what he looked like on a minutes restriction. You are where you are. Technically, you made the, this is probably one of the better rocks that you, you were going to have around this, this man since you've had him. And this you did what you did, and now you're here. And now, you know, that picture, you know how the internet goes. We about to see that picture of Brad going like this for like. Mm-hmm. <laughs> man. Mm-hmm. Man. Mm-hmm. I've seen it 12 times on my timeline between two different mm-hmm. times. Mm-hmm. We're going right. to see it. Which means this is now. Now, like again, we're local, right? We're we're lo- in terms of covering the Wizards, local, always around them or whatever. You have people that don't pay any attention to the Wizards at all. Tomorrow, okay, what show you talk about? That picture bill gonna be addressed. Mm-hmm. They ain't paid the Wizards nobody. Mm-hmm. They gonna be talking about that. So again, these are the types of things in sports when you do these things. They catch up to you, man, and you gotta hope you right when you when you swing for it. It gotta be for the right reason because it's not. Everything's fair play, and it's and it, I, it's not gonna be from us. Just it's gonna be bad because if the other dude that's in the picture we talk about wake up within the next couple of weeks, look around like <sighs> it's a whole different type of discussion. It's one thing when you're moving someone because you feel you have the leverage. It's another thing when they got the leverage that this ain't the NFL. We know the players run this thing. This is not NFL. That's why the NFL going crazy right now with Deshaun Watson because he got an NBA deal. Boy 25 with a no trade clause. NFL doesn't believe in that. That's typical NBA stuff, though. You are where you are with Brad. It was a three-year extension. Look, man. You know, whatever, whatever, whatever was told to who about who's gonna do what. I do know what contender looks like, and I know this in it. So. Man, we, we, we know what it is. And it ain't just that black car, and it ain't going to just be that meme of Brad Bill with his head down that they about to use, especially the Laker fans to try to get him in L.A. You know how they do. But that's not what they it's going to be. That right and, yeah, nah, that's not what it is. <laughs> that's not the only thing that's going to be circulating. That tweet, that tweet from a certain owner when he was out the door, like I said, we all know what it is. That's why Scott Brooks kind of like, no. A lot of us did not, you know what I'm saying, when John said what he said to Chris Miller, shout out Chris Miller, in that interview, mm-hmm. he was like, no, nah, it wasn't people, plural, multiple people that said that. You know what I'm saying? I was always in John, and to Scott Brooks' credit, he was. He was always like, he looked good. And I'm going to throw something out there from a, you know one of my sources last year when he was rehabbing, when he first got back on the court. That boy was dunking on dudes left-handed and everything. Now, obviously, you can't put that out there. Saw the footage mm-hmm. and stuff like that. Couldn't put that out there. But I knew he was, oh, I'm doing, like, he's doing that already by the, by the season. He's going to be John Wall. Now, I get it. Like we said before, that video circulated. He messed up. But you oh, you had that talk with a man, the man behind the scenes. But you got to give him. No, he's put a lot on the line for this, this team. Like, I, like bro, we, we know how this has been. We've been here all our lives. It is this ain't a marquee franchise. We just gonna call it what it is. I mean, we grew up in times where if the Wizards won 30 games, it was optimism. It was like, that's great. Damn, the Wizards, <laughs> okay. But meanwhile, that's trash. You going to the lottery, bro. That's horrible. So for a dude to keep this franchise relevant, even before Bill got here, to keep it relevant and whatnot, to to battle, even when Bill was young and he was injury prone, and for him to keep this young up level where they were relevant around the league and stuff like that, you still had to pay attention to him. That means a lot, man. 
You know what I'm saying? So we can't we can't sit up here and do that. But like the way he just got kicked out the door, he deserved to be mad. And he and he until he retires, should be I want all the smoke every time I see y'all. Like I said, so look, man, it is I don't even know what to say no more, man. Cause it's like even when the guys were here, that's that's out. Same result. So at this point, yeah. it's about result. And I hear people blaming Scott Brooks and stuff, but with all due respect, what has he had to work with? When he had something to work with, they were getting to the playoffs. When they have a bunch of young players, projects, and stuff like that surrounding Bill, I mean, you're going to get what you're going to get, dog. Especially in this season, man, with COVID and all that. And, I, and to me, it's just unfair to really judge any coach right now unless it's just just bad. Like, you ain't even old for or something yeah. like that. It's just something crazy historic. But this season, man, you can't even practice. So you can't even get it right. You just hoping something. You wishing, like, man, I hope y'all doing what y'all got to do. See y'all game time. It's like that. So you can't even hold that. I mean, at, and at the end of the day, players, it's a player's league, right? They love credit for what they're doing, what they accomplished, right? All right. So when things ain't going well, who should get the blame? So there we go. That's, that's where I'm at with it. And it looks like Wilson is frozen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but what can they do, man? You tell me, man. Like, yeah, I mean, it's... What, what, if you was a coach, what, what would you do? What, what, like like you said, what can you do? Like, you're not even allowed to practice. Like, you, it's only so much you could you could fix through film study and, and virtual workouts or what have you. So, I mean, it's, yeah, it's, it's a wash, man. Like <laughs> besides those, those few teams that's, you know, that got the talent to be in contention, like ain't nobody else really going to be able to make up no ground in this situation. Mm. And to make it, and to make it, um, to make it even worse, they got a game tomorrow at nine. Um, against the Pelicans, so there's no time. Like I said, they playing the old school schedule where everybody is like back to backs. It's the old school grind, whatever. It may not be as many games, but it's still the same type of deal. So I just don't know, man. I'm trying to, I'm trying to, trying to give them chances. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, you look at the standings now. What are they? 13th in in the East right now. They're no, they're dead last now. They're dead last now in the East. They're dead last in the East, and they're dead last in the league. They have the worst record in the league officially right now. They're three and ten. They're dead last. Meanwhile, Houston, uh, you look at it. Let's keep it real. They're seven and nine. So as far as conference, what did they back? A game and a half out of the playoffs. Mm. But the Wizards. I mean, they two and a half back. I mean, well, they two and a half back right now, but they're dead last in the league right now. So mm-hmm. they're not really out of it, but it's, it's, it's a battle coming, man. They they got to do something, man. Because, like, I don't even like – to me, in a little – I'm not going to say the Q word like they quit, but they damn they put forth the maximum effort in, in the fourth to try to fight like they did right. in the first three quarters. And that's a no-no. Then when you think about all the games they blew early, like – you know, with the the uncertainty of the season, you got to get those games in the bank. So when right. mm-hmm. when you hit a when you can't do nothing for two weeks, you know, you just not completely have nothing to work with. Like them them first few games that they could have won, they can they're have they good. have seven wins right now. You know what I'm saying? They have a cushion. They have right. a cushion to get their legs back and all right. Let's get back to work. Let's start rumbling again. Yup. Yeah, but but they have must win games coming off that them being just torn apart by COVID. Like you, you're just digging a deeper hole at this point. And tonight we can we can we can't we can fake all we want. Tonight add an insult to injury. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The guy you the guy you said they have, you know, you let him go and he came in and he, he bust your ass. Let's call it what it is. Yeah, he man, bust the guy's ass he traded for, he busts his ass. And only play with, like he didn't even play. He's on a minutes restriction, so he didn't even play a lot. Like he ain't even plays no more amount of minutes. Um, well, but 
So you had 24 and five assists and only 24 minutes, dog. That's half the game. So, so what if he played his normal 35 to 40 minutes? And Bill called it. He knew it was coming. He's like, probably going to try to go for 60. And, and if, if a few of those threes would have hit, he definitely would have been like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm boy, I'm taking shots AI style. I'm taking shots AI style, baby. Them things going up. And the thing about it, I love the team got behind it. They was like, Rocco, we going to make sure you don't lose this game. You you could tell. Every time he made a play, they celebrate. Like, yo, we, we got you. We're going to make sure we send them boys a message. We're going to get behind you. We're we going to hold you down this game. And that's what you do, man. So the fact that they got behind them, put them down tonight, the other Rockets, that don't fit the narrative of not being professional and a leader. And all. Right. Let me share it all. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Oh, buddy. <laughs> Look, man, all I know is it's really interesting to me. You know, new team or whatever. Anytime he puts his hands up to get the ball so he can run the show, everybody does it with no question. Hey, and everybody there without question. Oh, here you go. Where you want me to go? What'd you say? We supposed to switch. Okay, we switch quarters. Okay. All right. Oh, look, I scored. That's what he was talking about? Man. But, yeah, it's like the in the <laughs> – and fortunately for Washington, Christian Wood wasn't available tonight. Like, I know we can talk about all the time that all the guys at Washington didn't have, uh, you know, available to them. Christian Wood's been on one this year. Yeah. He didn't play tonight. Oh, yeah, I forgot and, about it. Damn. Yeah. And, and that's the thing. You saw the distress that Boogie caused them defensively. <laughs> if Christian Wood was out there, what if you couldn't deal with, deal with Boogie stretching the floor? Christian Wood weighs like 45 pounds less and is bouncy yeah. <laughs> and can shoot. And that's a whole nother box of worms to deal with. So I just I just wanted to bring up the fact that Christian wasn't available tonight because I know someone's going to bring up the fact that Washington was missing a lot of their folks, but Christian's been averaging a double-double this year. He's I think he's like in the top 10 in blocks as well. That was a big piece of their front court that was missing tonight. And they were able to do what they were doing. Yeah. Not only play 24 minutes. Like it's tough, man. And then you got to turn around tomorrow night and you got to deal with one of the strongest, physically the strongest front courts in the league tomorrow night with Stephen Adams and Zion. So man, listen, they better not bring up the fact that all the rest of the Wizards they were losing when they was playing. So I mean yeah. like you call it what it is, the spade is spade. COVID done hit the Rockets too. John yeah. Warner was out for a few games. A few they played. You know, hit them. They still managed to find ways to be competitive and win games. That's why they're seven, nine, you three and ten. It still comes back to whoever suits up on the floor. They're NBA players, right? The only two players yeah. that you don't look at is Alex and Lynn and Jordan Bell because they just got to the team. You see what I'm saying? So they they trying to get fit in with the Wizards and figure out the system, figure out their roles and whatnot. Everybody else, no, y'all, y'all, I gotta look in the mirror. It is what it is, man. League unforgiving. You lose, you gotta look in the mirror. It's as simple as that. Yep. And Ray, did you have anything else to add tonight? And Robin Lopez better be asleep right now. <laughs> <'Cause> oh, <tomorrow. laughs> Man. Boy. <laughs> oh my yeah. God. Yeah. No, 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 no. Bonga better be asleep. Bonga <laughs> doing some push ups. Icing up. There's not enough push-ups in the world to deal with what was coming tomorrow. <laughs> I'm just waiting for the I'm just waiting for Michi Me. Shout out Michi Me. I'm waiting for his oh, IG. No. <laughs> I can't even say what I want to say. <laughs> yeah, nah, you can't. <laughs> oh man. Thank y'all for tuning in, man. We'll see you guys tomorrow night after the game. Make sure you follow her focus TV on Instagram, Twitter. Whatnot, uh, so you don't miss Cardell's preview um, tomorrow as well. So, again, you guys have a great night. Thanks for hanging with us tonight. We'll be back for another episode with this outlook tomorrow. Um, you know, game starts at 8 p.m. once again. So, around this time, we'll see you guys. Y'all have a good one.